Hello and in this video I'm going to be preparing my truck for the Arctic Circle. So I'm going to be going up to the Arctic in just three weeks time and I need to implement some of the lessons that I learned when I was there earlier last year. It was a pretty uncomfortable trip last year. I ended up putting tape all over the front of the car to stop wind coming in. I realised when I was up there that sometimes my car struggled to start and for that reason the first job is to check my glow plugs. I've bought a brand new set of four. This is a glow plug here. It slots in just below your injector and goes right into the cylinder. The end of it glows hot, gets to about 800 degrees, and that's what will help start your vehicle when it's in very cold climates. Over here in England, we don't normally have a problem with it, so I have no clue whether my glow plugs are functioning or not. It's not something I've ever checked. It's not something I've ever looked at in the, all the time that I've had the vehicle. So first thing I'm going to do is get these new glow plugs, I'm going to test the resistance on them, make sure that none of them have an open line, make sure they're all reading around about the same and they should all be a low ohms value which means that they should be less than about 5 ohms, uh, the lower the better really. So let's get the tester out, have a look at these and then we'll compare these to the old ones and see if there's any difference there. Okay so I've got my four glow plugs here, these are my new ones and I want to check that they're all good, they should all be reading around about the same value and they should all be a low ohms reading. If your machine comes out of open line like this, that means that there is no continuity, there is no loop if you like, going down your glow plug and back up. Now on this one, I've turned it to ohms, which is, you can see the omega symbol there, and this one's an auto ranging, and I've also got a range button here. So if I press this, it'll go to kilo ohms, press it again, goes up to mega ohms, and I press it twice again, goes back down to ohms. Now that's an electronic ranging, yours may have 20 ohms, 200 ohms, 2000 ohms, etc, etc. So set yours to the lowest one that you've got and you can always turn the dial. The worst case you'll just get a reading of 0, 0.000 and it won't have anything on there. If it says open line, however, then that's a bad thing. So, the first thing to do when testing resistance in anything is we connect our leads together and we measure what the resistance is of our leads. So in this case, I've got 0, 0.00, oh, it's just gone to zero. So it's almost kind of nulled itself, but it's flashing up with 0 0.01 there. So you wanna make sure that whatever reading you've got in your leads, you take away from your final reading. Otherwise, you could have an ohm in your, your leads here, and then that'll throw your whole reading off. So take your reading, you've got your two leads, put one of your probes, you may not have crocodile clips like me, you may just have probe ends like this, in which case you have to hold it on there, clamp it onto the other end, and you'll see you'll get a reading up on your multimeter. Wait a few seconds for it to stabilise, this one here is coming in at 0.8 of an ohm on here. Well, it's kind of flashing around there between 0.7, 0.8 and 0.9. So all the other glow plugs, they should all read very much the same. Connect it onto there. There we go, it's now dropped down to 0 0.8. So you've got to give it a few seconds to go. This one here, coming down 0 0.7. And this one here, the final one, comes down to 0 0.8 as well. So that's great, we've got a good continuity on all of them. The resistance is nice and low, which means that these glow plugs will be effective and the ends of them will heat up. So let's get the old ones out and we can check the old ones and see what kind of resistance we're getting there. It'll be quite interesting because these have been in the truck for a very long time. Okay, so this is my first glow plug here. You've got one for each cylinder, there's one there, one there, one underneath the breather, and then one at the end there. So you need to take the little top lot off first, which is where the cable attaches to, and then you need to take out the whole of the glow plug. When we take this off, before we take the glow plug out, I'm going to quickly test that cable to make sure that it is getting power when I turn on the ignition. So let's get that out and have a look. 
Okay, so I've connected my probe from my multimeter onto the cable that feeds the glow plug, and I've connected the other probe onto the body of the glow plug. Now, I've got the positive cable on here and the negative on the body of the glow plug. I appreciate my colors here aren't red and black. I'm using random leads I've got um, from my other kits, but it does the same job as long as you know that it's positive and negative, that's absolutely fine. So let's turn the ignition on, see what kind of reading we're getting. So on the multimeter now, I've got it set to volts, DC. I know it's DC because that line there, you've got a straight line and three dots, that's your DC. Below it is your volts AC, so if it's got a wavy line, that's your alternating current, don't use that, use the DC on there. Now at the moment it's reading 16.5 millivolts. I'm gonna try and stick my hand in the window here and just keep it on the screen for you. So I'll turn the ignition on. That's the first stage of ignition, and it's still reading millivolts, so that's not what we want. If we go to the second stage of ignition, it then jumps up to 12 volts, and that's exactly what we want. So I know that the relay's working, I know the glow plugs are getting power, and I know that these are going to be heating up inside the engine, the cylinders, sorry. So turn that off again now, and that's it running. Now, I now need to check that each of these glow plugs are actually functioning correctly, and we do that by checking the resistance of them like we did on our new ones. So let's pull them out and check the resistance of each one. There is a chance you might be able to do this in the engine, actually. Let's have a quick look at that. If I take off this probe from here and connect it onto the top of my glow plug there, on let's now check the ends on here so you can see I'm getting well that's ranging so it's got an auto range that's still reading 22 mega ohms let's just put that onto I'm there so I've got an open line so I know that that glow plug the very first one is not functioning so let's get the new ones in there and see if we can get these glue plugs functioning correctly. Okay, so I've replaced all four of the glue plugs. Uh, none of these were functional at all. So I'll just show you the last two. So the first two, they were reading in the mega ohms, reading on the resistance. Number three here was reading, what's that, 43,850 on the ohms reading, which is far, far, far beyond our 0 0.8 ohms of the new ones. And the last one, that was a total open line. So we know this one's completely dead as well. Additionally, looking at the ends of these, you can see that they are very pitted. It's not gonna show up on the camera there, but the ends of these are very pitted and damaged. Look like they're slightly melted, but new ones are in now, so the car should start a lot better. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.